Cole must have used her dumb epithet to make you stupid enough to ignore my orders and let them go. Nope, I'm just like that. And this, if I wanted something big and brainless to help me move boxes, I would have hired a forklift. I mean, don't you already got silly, one. silly, Lady Mira. Forklifts have no honor. I don't care about honor, Indus. Honor. <laughs> What to do here, everybody? This is about Blunt Head Ninja, man. We back with another man. Before we do anything, y'all already know the deal. Go down to my description box. Follow me on my social media. Make sure y'all tell me y'all from my channel, man. Hey, yo, man. We about to get back to our reaction, y'all. We about to get back here to this Empathy Erase. So this is Empathy Erase Part Two Bath Trap. I love. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. My first time, my first reaction, man. I was terribly sick. I wasn't feeling like really good. So as I, as you can see, I was uncomfortable sitting there and stuff. Like I was moving a lot. It's just because like. I was so tired. I was so tired, and like my back was hurting. So right now, I feel, I feel well energized, and I'm feeling way better, guys. So yeah, I'm ready for this right now. And also, man, thank y'all so much for 500 subs, man. I can't believe we hit 500 subs for the end of the year. So thank y'all so much, man. Like, go ahead, and get our grind ready for a thousand. And like I said on my last video, I do not know what I'm gonna do for a thousand subs, especially. I don't. I mean, for our uh, a 500 special, man. I don't know what y'all want to do. So tell me in the comments section what y'all want to see, man. Do y'all want to see a mukbang? Do y'all want to see a story time? Do y'all want to see me do some stupid shit? I don't know. Do y'all want to see a live screen? What do y'all want to see, man? Let me know in the comments section below. It would not be. Do not say fucking goddamn. Do not say. Do not say giveaway because I'm already doing a giveaway at 1K. So. Won't be doing giveaway at 500, but we'll, we'll be doing one giveaway at 1K. So, look, man, I'm going to start talking because I'm tired of talking. Y'all know I am. I'm never tired of talking. Let me start talking. Uh, <laughs> but look, y'all already know, man, this is Empathy of Race Part 2, Bat Trap. Let's get into the video. Y'all already know how we do it. Y'all want to watch the original video. Be in the description below. You want to rock out me? Just stay on the video. Let's get into it. Let's go. It's my homegirl. Um, Think of my homegirl. What's up, homegirl? What's up? Tour guide? I'm sorry, but... What did you I mean, mean when you said rob this museum? Aren't oh, yeah, I forgot. Security guards? Is dun, dun, that dun. the opposite of your job? We're not security guards, little girl. That's just our cover. Oh. Yeah, that explains guy. why your tour was so bad. What? Yeah, oh, this is so it's not that I'm bad at tours. There and was just no God, reason so to try. He was trying. See, he I was. told you, the kids can tell the difference. I'd give him four stars. <gasps> four stars, Lady Four Mira. stars? I gave him three. The That's fuck? downright commendable. See what happens when you engage. You should be more engaging. We don't need to be engaging in this. There's only three things we're going to do. Sneak into the museum, find the amulet, and take your epithet. Damn. Wake up. You've got a lot to do today. Feel proud and wipe your eyes. Cause they stifle the honest state up till dawn. Let's see what you've been working on. It's done. Keep in mind the deadline is closing. Your byline, the headline, the end of being uncompleted. All deleted. What's going on? You'll have to crunch and work till dawn till you die. Cut out the corners, cross the teeth, and dab the eyes. Move out the white, I but keep it in good taste. Just so that no one will never know it's the face. Epithet erased. Oh, yeah. I like the intro. Episode like the two Bear Trap. Bear Trap. <laughs> Who have made this like so fucking good? Crusher. Dark Star, mm. my boys, my beautiful boys. She beat them all up. Beat the I'm surprised you're still conscious. Our dual tech is usually enough to take mooks like you down in one blow. Congrats. Mm, I'm a mook. And just take our intruders into the dinosaur exhibit and make sure they stay there. Ooh! The dinosaur exhibit is my favorite! And really? the exhibit with dinosaurs in it! Right no. away, Lady Mira! <laughs> Wait a moment. Lady Mira! 
If I am guarding them, who will protect you? <laughs> From these guys? Please. I wipe their entire squad out with a wave of my hand. They're kittens. How dare you? Damn. We are dangerous criminals. Oh, I'm sorry. What's the most dangerous thing you guys have done? Loiter outside the mini mall? Shoplift some bubble gum? Uh, loitering is a perfectly respectable crime that can be very dangerous. How? No, it can't. How? You could do it in front of a truck. There, that should hold you. Enjoy your time in prison. Right, man, I'm going to learn about dinosaurs. <laughs> Why is that doing? My that first was a big mission in charge, and I end up captured on top of a pile of my own unconscious minions. This sucks. Hey, tall guy. You could have at least trapped us inside the dinosaur bones, like how I requested to be buried in my will. Yeah, no big deal, but I wrote my last will and testament because I live my life in constant danger. I wrote my last will and testament because life is fleeting and you never know when you or a loved one will die. Oh, Damn! You're kind of a bummer. Anyone oh, ever tell you that? Yeah. Oh. So Damn. tall. If my mm. neck were that long, I could see Lady Mera from anywhere. We could never get lost. You gotta be lower. What tall secrets do you know, Mr. Apatosaurus? Apatosaurus. <sighs> I wish I were a dinosaur. Psst, hey, kid, quick, let's get out of here. While that big guy's distracted by the majesty of dinosaurs. Huh? You heard that lady with the weird eyes? Once she finds that amulet thing, she's gonna steal your epithet. And maybe mine, too. We gotta get out of here. That shit kinda sucks, though. So. What do you mean, you guess so? I don't know. Being a Mundy wouldn't be so bad. I could still run the store. And lots of people don't have epithets, and they do okay. And it sounds like she really wants it, so... What do you mean, it sounds like she wants it? What's wrong with you? You can't just give up your cool powers. My powers aren't that cool, though. Ah, uh, they See? managed to negate a swing from my soul slugger doom bat of maximum destruction. That's a pretty big deal. Had I hit that lady at my full power, oh, I would have clobbered her. Maybe? I've got this feeling that she's actually really strong. Same with that guy over there. Their proficiency is really high. <laughs> well, yeah. It'd have to be to defeat all my minions. Um, I don't know. They were kind of... bad? Hey! Don't you talk about my boys that way! They're trying their best! But you have a point. Uh, yeah, I don't yeah. know if I can beat that lady now that I'm boiling. <laughs> hey, I know. You can be my new boy! Huh? Congratulations, little girl! Oh. You've officially been promoted to boy! Minion boy! Huh? But first, you need a cool minion nickname. Quick, what's Quick. your name? I thought it was Minion Boy. No, your normal <coughs> name. Uh, Molly? Ugh, gross! You sound like a sweater. I can't have a minion named Molly. You sound like a sweater. See, you're quiet, <laughs> and you wear a bear hoodie. I like bears. I've got it! Your minion name shall be Bear Trap. Okay. Now, no, no, no. Bear Trap, no, no, no. as minion, it's your job to think of a way out of this and do all the work. As your manager, I will wait here and take credit for your success and you berate you if needed. Oh, so it's like working in retail. Yeah, you got it! Okay, I can do that. Uh, hmm. Okay, I think I have an idea. Hello? Mr. Barrier? <laughs> Oh, hostages! Are you enjoying your imprisonment? Can I get you anything? Some water? Why are you so fucking nice? Actually, hey, no. I had a question. That woman is your boss, right? She is my master! Years ago, Lady Mera bested me in an honorable duel. Ever since, I have followed her teachings so that I may become strong <laughs> like her. She has taught me many important yeah. training exercises, such as training laundry and training doing her taxes. Oh, I do my family's so you taxes too. Yes, I have not yet mastered the taxes. <laughs> Me neither. I have so many return statements to file. <laughs> yeah, uh, grown-up words, am I right? <laughs> We're all dudes here. In return for Lady Mera's teachings, talking, but... I act as her most trusted bodyguard and right-hand man. Okay, so your job is to protect her, right? Yes. 
Well, Mr. Giovanni attacked her earlier. Yes! But I stopped her from taking any damage with my epithet. Yes! So I saved your master for you. That means you owe me a favor. That makes Come sense. On. I was thinking Gotta maybe do. let us out of this prison? Hmm, I don't know. Lady Mera did give me explicit orders to do the exact opposite of that. I wouldn't want to upset her. Well, that's fair. Sorry to bother you. What? No! You almost had him! Man, how you give All up? Right, listen. Oh my you want to protect that lady, right? More than anything. <laughs> well, you'd better go back there right now before the really dangerous thing gets her. <gasps> oh no! What is this really dangerous thing? Uh, uh, quicksand? No! It's minions! Lots and lots of minions. He has way more minions than the ones you just saw. Yeah, I've got like ten! <laughs> Hundred! Ten hundred minions! That Goodness, that is a large amount! I don't know yeah. if Lady Mira could handle that many minions on her own! You should go help her. After letting With us your out! Barriers. After all, we just gave you that hot minion tip for free. So now you owe us two favors. And two favors is worth more than one order. So you need to let us out. Yeah, that's yeah, the rule. That makes sense. Mm, I guess that makes sense. All right! He lowers the barrier a bit, and lifts the two of them by their collars like baby kittens! There! You are free, and my debt is repaid! Stay here, and don't cause any trouble! I'M COMING, LADY MARA! He is good, I don't though. feel good about lying to him like that. <laughs> oh, silly bear trap. You don't need to feel bad about lying I love anymore. That music. That's one of the perks of being a bad guy. Oh, okay. <laughs> Can I borrow your cell phone? I want to order a pizza. Oh, yeah. Pizza sounds great. Thanks. Hi, police. Hello, this is police. What? No, stop that. We're not calling the police. I'm gonna I fucking love criminal, Molly, man. And you're one of my minions. They'd arrest us on the spot. She but really calls somebody. I haven't done anything bad yet. Uh, you just broke out of prison. <gasps> you're right. I'm a monster. This mask has Why you did that girl like this? No, the best thing we can do now this man is swipe that came amulet face. from right under their noses. If they want it, that means it's probably worth a lot of money. I bet stealing something like that would get me some kind of raise. Oh, maybe even a promotion to the next bonsai rank. It's nice to have the option of upward mobility in your company. Yeah, those are words. <laughs> Come on, we need to establish a secret base. Once we have a base, we can come up with a plan. Once we have a plan, we can swoop in, rescue my boys, and grab that amulet! He touches his hand to the barrier and looks longingly at his pile of boys, like a maiden looking out to sea. Wait for me, my boys. I shall return for you. Why don't we just take them with us? Heavy. You right. That nigga said heavy. You got it right, though. <laughs> Epithet soup. Epithet erased. Epithet erased! <laughs> We're man. back, Lady Mara. I don't know who do his voice, but I like him. Uh, uh, voice so manly. Come on, where is it? Uh, I keep banging myself against these stupid boxes. Should I, hire I like how it's cardboard, oh, but extra, as a like an anime type stuff. And I, I like Lady it. Mera! Oh, perfect timing. <gasps> Lady Mera, are you unharmed? Not exactly. I've broken so many nails. And a toe, I think. Oh, wait, where are the intruders? Oh, I freed them. I'm sorry, what? I owed them a favor, and it was the honorable thing to do. Oh. <laughs> this gotta be the stupidest man okay, I've seen it. in my life. That little girl must have used her dumb epithet to make you stupid enough to ignore my orders and let them go. Nope, I'm just like that. And this, if I wanted something big and brainless to help me move boxes, I would have hired a forklift. I mean, don't you already be got silly, one. Lady Mira. Forklifts have no honor. I don't care about honor, Indus. Honor my probably broken foot. Now we've got who knows how many thieves wandering around looking for the amulet. Ten hundred, I hear. We're not even sure if it's even in the collection yet. Not here either, huh? This is starting to feel like a waste of my time. Who the fuck is that? Wait, who said that? Who the fuck is him? Hmm. You must be one of the fabled ten hundred minions. 
Stand aside, Lady Mira. I'll handle him. Excuse me? Back, minion! In the name of my lady, you shall face my fist! What the fuck? Did... Did I get him? Nope. Thank God, I was about to... She put, he to put niggas to sleep? Oh, that's tough. Who are you supposed to be? Another thief? I take it you're referring to those bonsai blasters I saw knocked out near the entrance. No, I have nothing to do with them. I'm simply an interested party. Uh-huh. And what exactly are you interested in, kid? The museum's been closed for hours. I'm not a kid! <clears throat> My <laughs> name is Dr. Sylvester Ashling. I'm a psychologist investigating how epithets interact with a person's psyche. I heard Ooh. your lackey talking about the amulet during your tour earlier, and I was hoping to get a look at it myself. Well, the exhibit's not open yet, so how about you go home and wait a few weeks like everyone else? Waiting behind red tape is for the general public. I figured there's no harm in getting an academic preview. That's what you're doing, after all. Isn't it? Uh, right. Uh, but as nope. you can see, my assistant's abilities are a little lacking. <laughs> With all these bonsai <laughs> blasters <laughs> running around, I don't know if I'll be able to keep the amulet safe. Of course, if I had someone more competent willing to take care of them, I'd be happy to let you take a peek at the amulet once I found it. So, I apprehend these thieves. And you give me some time to examine the amulet. Yes, that's right. Oh, but they're pretty strong. You might not be able to handle them, kid. I told you before, I'm not a kid. And trust me, if I'm the one dealing with those thieves, they'll be out cold before they have a chance to make the same mistake. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck kind of loud that is? Yeah. What the hell kind of loud that is? So we still don't know her fucking empathy. What the fuck? What is her empathy? Kind of want to know. We're oh. back. Thanks for waiting. Oh, I just noticed that. <laughs> All right. The loose in the hair cool like that is. Complete. I feel like it's against the These rules to take the bears right out of their homes like, like that. Uh, this is their home now. And I told you, you don't need to worry about rules anymore, Bear Trap. You're a bad guy now. Plus, these guys are like our guardians. <laughs> part of the Bonsai Blasters, too. Then they need uniforms. You are so right. Molly takes a small sewing kit out of her backpack and starts fashioning the grizzly bear a yellow bandana with the letters BB on it. Oh, you carry around a sewing kit too, huh? Yeah, my dad breaks a lot of stuff around the house, so it's good to have supplies on hand. Wait, you sew? No, I knit. So what? You want to fight about it? No, I just didn't he take you knit. for the crafting. Okay. Thing. Of course. He takes He's out a pair of knitting man. needles. I wield both the powers and the of creation and lady, destruction. Lady. He flips the needles back and forth between grandma mode and knife mode, oh. like a ninja. Oh. Ah. 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 Huh. Hey, Giovanni. Are you secretly nice? What? No! Absolutely not! Say that again and you're fired! Mm. Don't tell the others, okay? They wouldn't get it. Only cool minions like you would understand. Giovanni throws together nice. a black bandana with red accents for the polar bear. Nice! They're oh, officially I like that! And I need once one you turn bandanas. in your membership fee, you'll be an official Bonsai Blaster too. Membership fee? <laughs> yeah! Anyone can become a villain for the low, low price of $49.99 a month. So there's no skill requirement to enlist. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. I just thought that seemed like a pretty lovely membership fee. I know, right? It's more than my entire allowance. But it's not so bad. If you get other what? people to join, you get a cut of their monthly fee. And if Damn. you recruit enough people, you actually make money. That sounds like a pyramid scheme. <laughs> yeah, of course it's a pyramid scheme. They're scamming you. That's how you know it's a legit bad guy group. How do you know what a pyramid scheme is anyways? Aren't you like five? I run a toy store, so I have to know about common business practices. You're five years old and you run a toy store? 
That sounds pretty rough. Yeah. I mean, I'm 12, but yeah. You, uh, you want to talk more about grown it? Things than I do. Giovanni yeah. sits down in the fort and pats the spot on the bench next to him. Uh... Come on, Bear Trap. Sewing time is bonding time. That's why they call it close-knit. Um, well, my family runs a toy store. My dad makes the toys, and my mom used to sell them. But after she died, Aww. dad and my sister kind of just ignored the situation. But we still needed to eat, and no one was doing anything, so I guess I just kind of took over. Her eyes are actually I thought pretty. it'd like just it. be for a little while. I like how her eyes are. But it's been almost I just two years now, know and things still eyes. aren't normal again. I still work at the store most nights because my dad and my sister are, um, busy. I'm supposed to be there now, actually. But all this happened. I hope they don't get mad at me again. You're kind of a pushover, aren't you, Bear Trap? Yep. I'm sorry. See, that's exactly what I'm talking about! You're doing all this stuff for your dumb family, and you're okay with giving away your epithet because she might need it? What is that crap? Like, it's nice to be nice or whatever, but you can't just let people step on you. You're just okay, as important man. as everyone else. Okay, man. I like him, man. You, you, speak, you speak that true, man. Yeah. You're my minion Preaching. now. Nah. All my know. minions are important. Yeah. I, I can't have people minions. stepping all over my minions when I'm not around. You gotta learn to stand up for yourself. Got it? No! How's that? Ha! <laughs> nice try. I'm your boss, so you have to listen to me. Not bad, though. We'll work on it. I want all my minions to be the best they can be, so that when I finally become a supervillain, we'll be the strongest bad guys in the world! So, I guess that makes you the Bonsai Blasters, then. Oh, I see. Who the heck is that? That boy from earlier. You're trying to steal the Arsene amulet, isn't that right? I don't go easy on criminals who get in the way of my research. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? And what I are you gonna do about, about it? Think you can stop us, kid? I'm not a... <sighs> Why do I even bother? The boy raises his hand and a hush falls over the room. A golden dust hangs in the air and begins to fall like pollen. What's this? Snow? <laughs> Ew, why is it yellow? Wait. Uh, Giovanni, be careful! That dust puts you to sleep! Huh? I oh, she's smart. I that boy earlier. Some of that dust rubbed off on me and I passed out. I thought oh, it was just like weird dandruff or something. But I think he's actually inscribed. Sleep. He must have some kind of sleep epithet. Ha! A trick like that won't work against my demon energy aura! Ah! Steam rises off of Giovanni's body as his soupy energy whirls around him and hits its boiling point! The updraft generates a whirlwind and blasts the dust away in a rush of heat! Oh, this what? Giovanni good at Street punks waving their epithets around. <laughs> Listen up, Bear Trap. Now that we're a team, I can let you in on all of my secret techniques, including my special move. Thirteen <laughs> is my lucky number, so every thirteen times I get a hit in, I unleash a super attack. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Is that super related, or...? Nope, I'm just awesome. <laughs> I've already got a hit saved up from attacking that lady before, so all I have to do is land 12 hits on him. If he can even survive that long. Counting sheep! He waves his hand and a herd of sheep stampede out of the ether with a chorus of bad! What the fuck? Is that all you got? Ah, geez, this is a perfect seat. opportunity to use my lava grenade! Oh, yeah. Dang it! There's too many of them! The bear trap! Attack! I, I don't have a weapon! Oh, my bad. Here, take my standard issue bonsai blaster pea shooter. He drops a gun in her hands. What? I don't want this! Come on, we can take him! Get ready, bear trap! Giovanni brandishes his soul crusher bat, which is a regular bat with a knife taped to it! Giovanni is something crazy. Oh, the 
This isn't so bad. Yeah, they just kind of bump into you. I have a friend who would love this, actually. It's so soft. Oh, you know, they're actually kind of cute. They nibble! They nibble! Oh, they bite! They're nibbling my suit! Ah, quit it! It took me hours to make this costume! <laughs> there you Come go! Oh. 13, 13, 13, 13! Ah. Uh -oh. Yeah! <laughs> oh, there's still like a hundred of them, though. I don't know if I can take them all out before they nibble us to death! I have an idea! It looked like he summoned these, so maybe I can... The sheep quiets down, closes its eyes, and grows smaller and smaller until it slowly fades away to nothing. Uh, what? Well, what did you just do? How do you do that? How do you turn them off? I dumbed it down to nothing. I can do that with summon stuff. My sister has a summoning epithet, and I have to unmake her stuff before it destroys all the other stuff. What? Can you do that to people? I... I don't know. Trap. What yep, she's asleep. Uh, I'm sleepy again. Hey! Huh? You should be more than groggy enough now. How about we see what you're most afraid of? Nightmare fuel! <gasps> what the heck? Pyrophobia, huh? That'll do. Drowsy. That's his damn. Look. That's his ability, is drowsy. <laughs> Now, why don't the two of you just stay put until the police arrive? I'll keep that fire where it is, so long as you don't try anything funny. Giovanni! Bear trap? Molly clutches the hem of Giovanni's cape and hides against his leg. She's crying. No. Huh. I think I've had just about enough of you, guy. You made my minion cry. Nobody makes my minions cry except me. I've never done this while carrying another person oh. before, but don't worry, Bear Trap. We still have two more minions left on our side. You can't seriously be planning to sprint through that fire. Not quite. The steam Giovanni built up around him bursts from his feet, and he rockets into the sky, landing oh. on the two bonsai bears atop Fort Cool Guy. What the heck? Giovanni is something nice, though. I'm starting to like him. Only halfway, but that's still pretty good. See, Bear Trap? We're safe now. Sergeant Bear and Corporal Other Bear are here to back us up. Thank you. Don't mention it. You're my minion now. We take care of each other. You might find that difficult in a couple of seconds. Nightmare fuel! Whoa, 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 whoa. Suddenly, the footing beneath Molly and Giovanni becomes unsteady. An earthquake? No! The bears beneath them spring to life! Oh, Sergeant God. Bear and Corporal Other Bear roar and begin to swing at their former comrades! He's taken the only thing I love and turned it against me. Sergeant Bear! Why? I should have been promoted to Staff Sergeant Bear <laughs> ages ago! I can try suppressing them with hushabies, but not for very long. They're much stronger than the sheep! What do I do? Uh, uh, the sewing kit! Oh, yeah! I can throw the knitting needles at his eyes! I was Damn. thinking more like hitting him with a ball of yarn! Right! He's wearing glasses. Much more traditional to just bean the nerd. Giovanni scrounges around and pulls out a big red ball of yarn from his man purse. You seriously then they got a man think purse. you can beat me with a ball of yarn? Not on my own. But when I combine my strength with bear traps, anything is possible. Sorry about this bear trap. Standard minion procedure. It's fine. I'm used to being taken advantage of. Okay, there. <laughs> Let's maybe raise our standards a little bit. Oh, go There we go. I might not be the best supervillain in the world just yet, but when it comes to baseball, I can't be beat! Oh my god. Yeah. Damn! <laughs> yeah! Take that, you jerk! <laughs> Why is he still standing? Alright, that's it. No more Dr. Nice Guy. You forced me to use my ultimate attack! Dream big! 
<laughs> is that it? Your ultimate attack is passing out? <laughs> what a dork. Let that be a lesson to you, Bear Trap. Never mess with Giovanni Potage! Because he is great. <laughs> Giovanni? Giovanni? Please, please, call me boss. Giovanni? Yes, what is it, my faithful minion? <laughs> Oh, y'all would have died. No! I was just getting through it. In the dead of midnight, someone's creeping down the hall. Alright, man, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Y'all did. Make sure y'all smash the like button. You did. Make sure y'all did this like button, man. Also, hit the red button and subscribe, man. Come part of the Blind Head Crew, man. Hit the bell right next to it so you know what other new content like this, man. Yo, man, I very like this episode, too. They're very funny. Um. Just to meet new characters like, um, where's the new guy, the doctor? I like him, he's very funny. Um, I started like Giovanni now. Giovanni not even that bad. He's a super villain. He want to be a super villain, but he's a, he's a good guy, man. You can tell he's going to be a good guy in the uh, story. You can tell he's going to be good. Yeah, you gonna tell, you can tell he's going to be a good guy. He got some strong powers, though, you know? That's crazy, though. But um, that mandatory, but the fuck them up. <laughs> The man actually went to sleep and got there and woke up as a minotaur. That's crazy, man. But look, I, I'm, I'm thank y'all so much for telling me to continue with the stories. Tell me to continue with uh, Impotator Race, man. I'm very enjoying this. So, uh, new, I will be ready to the, all the episodes. So, get ready, y'all. It's going to be crazy, man. But tell me what y'all think about the video, man. Tell me what y'all think about this video. And I'll see y'all next video. I'm out.